Well, we are working on the Explorer today, guys. If you don't like cop cars, divert your eyes, divert your eyes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just playing around. But if you don't like Ford Explorer content, then you may just want to click off right now. But don't leave a thumbs down. Just hit the thumbs up for crying out loud. I was going to have my wife do the unboxing because she wouldn't know what this is and it'd be kind of funny. But you can see JLT lifetime warning. I didn't realize that JLT offered lifetime warranty on the parts, but putting they call an oil separator, but they are commonly referred to as catch hands. They look pretty sweet from JLT. This is JLT 3.0. I believe it's the third uh, rendition or third revision of their catch can. I think some of the earlier ones may have had some issues, uh, which resulted in check engine lights. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really uh, follow along all that much with the Explorer stuff, but I believe there is a sensor and the old version of the catch cans were causing a check engine light because it was not getting proper crankcase ventilation. So uh, I believe this works without any issues. So we're gonna install this today. Comes with the hoses, a little uh, push clip connectors, and I think there's a little bracket in here. Uh, they mount up quite nice, so I'm looking forward to getting this thing installed. I don't know that we'll have a lot of issue with blow-by, but it doesn't hurt to um, try to prevent, uh, you know, carbon buildup on the valve. Everything's pretty straightforward, but they give you some nice colored images here to help you with installation. Should be pretty snappy. Mounts right here in this location, 13 millimeter. I'm not sure what, maybe 10, uh, but it fits in there pretty good. So engine cover off, everything is easily accessible. Nice little lightweight bracket. It mounts right there. 13 millimeter bolt. And I think we just have to change the orientation of the grounding strap here in order to get it to move into its proper location. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of this first. Sorry, this, I misspoke. This is an eight millimeter uh, bolt. And it's on pretty tight, so two hands is best. And you might want to support this little uh, sheet metal piece here. Let's see. Yeah, see it torque twists. So I'm going to hold it with my other hand. The purpose of this is to get this grounding strap out of the way because the bracket mounts right here. So we need to rotate it. But in order to rotate it, we need to straighten this out a little bit. Uh, so little needle nose pliers, or you can probably do it with your fingers. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, so just bend it out just a slightly and it allows you to just rotate it here on this bracket a little bit. So let's see if it sits flat. Yeah, see that'll be perfect there. Bam. So this is the hose we're removing. See the little tab here. Very snappy. intake side oh, it's on the it's on the underside so you can use your pointer finger to reach down underneath and push there we go easy you're supposed to be able to read JLT like this so this is the orientation so this long this one here that should go on your valve cover side and then this one should go to the intake but first 13 millimeter socket and we gotta remove our bolt there pretty much finger tight pretty self-explanatory trying to do this one hand but the bracket facing this direction mounts right there Down a little bit don't need to go crazy i haven't mounted this in here tight yet i want to leave myself enough wiggle room just trying to route these in the best way i think i'm taking the valve cover side over the ac line under this uh line here you probably don't have to go under here but i'm just trying to route it that's the cleanest way 
I think it reaches pretty well. Just gonna snap the fittings on. Nice. And this one reaches here quite well. It's really not pretty tight. Snap, secure. Now we'll mount the uh, actual can itself with the two small little screws. One thing to note that this is just a single mounting point with this one bolt and you can secure it down nice and tight but it can be a little bit flimsy so uh, you know i'm not sure that you would hear anything in the cabin anyway but just think thinking about potential vibrations if you have the bracket leaned up tight against this uh, plastic piece this little cowl piece you know it's possible you hear some noise so i just kind of uh tweaked it a little bit just to give me about you know like a quarter inch gap uh, so if it does vibrate it's not going to touch on anything uh, the hoses are routed nice and clean without any obstruction uh, both fitting snapped on nicely with no uh, stress or anything like that so if it's good we'll just have to put the engine cover back on one thing i hate about a lot of catch cans uh, especially some universal ones is that you end up mounting them in really funky locations and then you have to pretty much take the whole catch can off to ever empty it. So I'm curious to see if there's enough room. We do have this knurled bottom, which I kind of like. Gets you some grip. Oh yeah, plenty of clearance. I didn't even actually look at this thing first. Obviously seen the pictures of them, so. Oh, oh nothing in there. Okay, but you can see, let's see if we can see the underside. So we got the, the little catch screen there. Get a little visual, but yeah, plenty of room to empty this. My wife doesn't drive crazy. She does have a heavy foot, but she doesn't necessarily floor it or race it. So I'm not too worried about this. And the car is new, only 25,000 miles or whatever. So. Not too worried about it, but you know, a little reassurance, uh, keeping the engine clean, keeping some that buildup from occurring on the valves as much as we possibly can. Sort of a preventative measure uh, more than anything, but super easy install, less than 10 minutes. Everything fits up nice, everything bolts up nice. It looks good under the hood. Um, shouldn't be any clearance issues. So let's put the engine cover back on, we'll call it good. And that's it, pretty simple. Looks good tucked up in the corner. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're interested in Ford Explorer stuff, we do a little bit of that here, but we do car things on this channel. So maybe you'll enjoy if you follow along, but I appreciate you guys checking in for this installation. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. A lot of good stuff coming up for the channel, just in general, uh, giveaways, uh, drives, uh, trips. We got a lot of stuff happening. So I appreciate you guys following along if you would. We'll see you in the next one.